Vivek Ramaswamy is a GOP presidential candidate. He joins us now. And Vivek, you have in process some information about a flight that has taken place. Can you tell us more about what you're planning and, and how you're getting Americans out? Absolutely, Harris. I believe in putting my money where my mouth is. And our family's foundation was proud to support some of the efforts organized by Congressman Corey Mills to get Americans safely out of Israel. So we were proud to support chartering a flight with over 200 seats on it that actually left Tel Aviv and by way of Cyprus, then bringing Americans safe passage home on that journey. And so we were proud to partner with Corey Mills and his team. I believe in standing as an American for our fellow Americans to get them out of harm's way. And we were proud in our version of having lived the American dream to do our part to help those fellow Americans. That flight took off from Tel Aviv on Monday morning, and I'm proud to have supported those efforts. Well, and I have some details on it. I know you don't have the manifest, um, but there were at least 200 seats on that flight, so that's quite a few people. Yep. Um, how did you make this happen? Because part of the challenge on the ground with people that I've talked with is that they're asked to drive um, from Jerusalem or Tel Aviv to Haifa to get on a boat to go to Cyprus, and they don't know where they'll go after that. Now, look, it's fantastic just to get out. Yeah. And I think you also, in this flight, if I'm understanding correctly, they're flying to Cyprus. But the government has been woefully slow. Uh, how did you act so quickly, and, and what I was the motivation to, to do that? The motivation to do it was seeing the slowness of the Biden administration and seeing reports that even when the government was helping people get out, they had to pay for those flights. And so I respect the efforts of others. In, in my case, we're using our own money through our family foundation to do it. I'm a big believer, Harris, that yes, there are many changes that we need to drive through politics. That's why I'm running for U.S. president. But I don't want to wait until then to drive mm -hmm. change that we can be having with a positive impact today. And that's part of the spirit I want to set as an example for everybody. Just because you're not in political office doesn't mean you can't drive positive change. If you see the government falling short, for those of us who can do it philanthropically, that have been blessed with the American dream in this country, it's our responsibility to do it. And others can use their voice or volunteer efforts to do it as well. So that's part of the example we wanted to set. Well, and uh, Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida also was using his um, position as governor to find flights for Americans out of there as well. So you've got politicians doing it. Yes. And are you advocating for the private sector to step in even now? I mean, did, what have you learned from this position? Are, is our government able to, to fix this faster and get more Americans home? Our government, sh our government should be able to fix this faster, Harris. The fact of the matter is, though, when the government falls short, it is up to people philanthropically in their capacity, less corporations, but philanthropically, to step up who they believe in the importance of bringing American ho Americans home to stand up and do it. For me, the America First agenda means no American left behind. That includes every American. And I do think that that's the top U.S. responsibility here. I want the government to also have a clear plan of action for how we recover those American hostages in a way that does not escalate to a broader war in the Middle East. I believe that's achievable, Harris. I think the Biden administration needs to well, step up and have a clear plan of action to do it. And in the meantime, we're making our difference here I, privately. I want to hear more about how you think that's achievable, because everybody is trying to strategize around that one point to keep those hostages from many countries alive right now. You and I will get into foreign policy. You've said a lot of things uh, in public that people want to know more about from you, and we'll get into that. We'll see each other soon uh, in a different broadcast. But good to see you today, and I thank you for joining us as we've had a lot of breaking news this hour. Outnumbered is after the break. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.